hey chelsea squad welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel if you don't know who i am my name is chelsea ohenewa so in my last live video you guys asked for an apartment tour so today i'm off from work and i'm doing laundry now so i was like since i have free time on my hands why don't i just do that you know so right now i'm in my apartment I'm gonna go outside, start from outside all the way from the first floor to the 12th floor and then show you all around this apartment. This building is called Wollaston Hall and it's part of University of Saskatchewan's residence halls. So they have about four halls in this arena. We have Sigawila, we have Wollaston where I am we have Suri's, which is for families with kids, and we have Asunaboy. So Asunaboy and Wallastin is for couples or individuals like me or couples without kids. And then Sigawila is for like everybody, students, not for people that are married. And then the Suri's is for couples that have children. So yes, I was in Sigawila and then I just recently moved to Wallastin. So now to cut a long story short, Let's go out and let me show you all around, okay? So this is the building, the Wallastin Hall. It has 12 floors. So we're gonna go inside. This was my old building, Sigawila. And this is my new building. So let's go inside. So when you enter from outside, this is what you see. These are the residence assistants. It's like a notice board. And then these are the mailbox. Then you just enter with your card here, then it will open for you. So we are on the first floor now. This is my place. We have stairs, garbage room. Let me show you. So we have the staff only for men. And there's a storage. All these are for the staff that cleans the building. And yeah. And there is also an exit. So this takes you to the back of the building. This is the back of the building. There's a garbage here, and the blue one is a recycle. And this window is my living room. The other one is my bedroom. So if you don't feel comfortable with using the elevator, these stairs will take you all the way to the top. Now I'm on the second floor. Let's see how that place looks. These are lockers for the rooms. Oh, it looks cool. Never been here. Okay, so now let's go to the third floor. When we get to the third floor, I'm gonna use the elevator for the rest. I'm not in the mood for an exercise today. So every floor is number three. Oh, okay. Now on the fourth one, let's see how the place looks like. Now let's use the elevator. Go to the last floor.
but we have washrooms these are called accessibility washrooms men women i don't know where what it says but i'm not gonna open it and the laundry is on the 12th floor which is the last floor so this is our laundry room and then there is a signage of like a notice board that tells you what to do and what not to do cycle time these are the washing machines and the dryers are these and we have this washing spot let's say there are some things that you want to wash it off in the sink before you put it in the washer you can do that and yeah i was washing i think my things are done so i'm gonna put them in the dryer then we continue okay why does someone open it? <laughs> so I'm just moving my things in the dryer since they are done. And then, oh. I put everything in one dryer just to save electricity. Today I did like all laundry, washed all my bed clothing, I washed all my bed sheets and everything. Just to be because tomorrow I have work for eight hours so and then these are all coin laundry so I have a camera you want I can pause it yeah it's okay okay <laughs> So because my things were heavy, I put like, I ran the coin like 10 times. Every coin runs 15 minutes. And this is a lounge. So anybody can come here to sit. It has a very nice view, as you can see. And they have this, I don't know whether it's badminton or tennis ball or something i don't know but they play that thing here in ghana we call it titi wall it has a really nice view that is a hotel that building over there is a hotel yeah you can always come here and sit if you want to have a party you would have to book and let them know the minimum people that you're gonna have but you can always have your birthday party here but you have to inform the residents and then take a party permit before you can do them then there is a tv you can connect and play connect with your phone do whatever it's a smart tv so it's really nice so yeah and there are so many games here that you can play with your friends once you come here if you have a party and then afterwards you want to wash your stuff you can wash them in the sink the cupboards are empty so you can that's where you can keep your drinks if you're having a party or games or whatever so yeah i really like this lounge it's way better than the one in Sigawila. And so these are the rules. Do's and don'ts, don't consume food and uh, yeah, so many stuff. You can't take alcohol outside in and it has to be like in a club or in your house, but you can't just be outside and be drinking. So yeah. Let me just take you to let me choose one random floor and then show you guys. So now I want us to go to the eleventh floor see how the place is they all basically look the same 
the only difference between here and the first floor is that the first floor we don't have these lockers that's the only difference every floor has these lockers except the first floor so yeah basically that's it but let me take you to my apartment and then we'll end the block i'm gonna use the elevator because i can't tie it so this is mine we don't have the lockers but i think what will be the same as the lockers will be probably because we have these i don't think the other rooms have it probably yes and the kitchen the living room and yeah that is it also one thing to note is that this apartment is unfinished so it only comes with a bed the living room comes with no tables no chairs no dining table so you have to get them yourself so if you are planning to live in wallaston assiniboine suris those come unfinished but sigawila comes finished and that one is six bed one bath but the bathrooms are two in one the toilets are two in one and wallaston is you can either get a one bedroom apartment and then or a two bedroom apartment so where i am right now is a two bed one bath which means two bedroom apartment with one bathroom one kitchen one living room yeah so we share the bathroom we share the kitchen but we all have separate rooms let me know if you guys are planning to let's say if you are coming to saskatoon and you want to live on residence i recommend that you live on residence because it's the best you get a meal plan they put 220 dollars on your student id and with that you can eat from the school canteen for about 10 or 11 times depending on what you buy you can buy Tim's, you can buy starbucks you can buy booster juice you can do anything that you want with your student id until the 220 dollars that they've put on it gets finished or you can eat from the marquis hall which is a buffet so it's just 22 dollars and then you can eat whatever you want as many times as you want so far as you don't leave the hall so i recommend that if you want to leave on campus feel free to come it's just 671 for a two-bedroom apartment and sigawila is 571 so it's just a hundred dollars difference which is not too much so you should decide to live here it's way better and on days that you don't feel like cooking you can always go to campus and then grab something and eat with your student id you just go you swipe free food and it's all included in your rent so you don't have to put any money on it unless the 220 dollars that they put on it for your meal plan finishes or it runs out then you can put money on it and buy something for yourself so i recommend that if you are coming to canada or i don't know about other schools but i really like the way the residence is here you don't pay wi-fi you don't pay for internet or hydro or anything everything is included in the 671 that they take you just pay your rent and everything is free and every room has its own wi-fi this apartment i don't share wi-fi with my roommate my roommate has her own router i have my own router in my room separate wi-fi's we need to be arguing over wi-fi so you don't feel compared to living off campus i prefer here but yeah everybody and their choices so yes let me know how i did with this video and i'll come your way same time next week with another video but before that make sure you've watched all my other videos all my other vlogs and don't forget to watch all the ads don't skip on the ad that's how i make some money so thank you for watching Bye.